here, my man. Do you like your place here? I mean, so far as you've gone. I find it very entertaining. Oh, yes, we are a very entertaining family. You really think you're going to like it here? Well, I must admit it's more desirable than living in a packing case on a city dump. Oh, that's where I met you, isn't it? Yes, miss. Oh, yes. Yes, I remember now. We were playing some sort of a game. A scavenger hunt, I think they called it. We needed a forgotten man. I asked you to go to the Waldo Fritz Hotel with me, and uh, I'm a little bit hazy as to just what happened after that. I pushed you into an ash pile. Oh, yes, of course you did. It was very amusing. They were nice, clean ashes. I'm very sorry, miss. Oh, I didn't mind at all. It was very amusing. Have you a handkerchief? There's a spot on my shoe. Would you see what you can do about it? I could have you fired, you know, but I like to see things wriggle. When I get through with you, you'll go back to your packing case on the city dump and relish it. People don't make a practice of pushing Cornelia Bullock into ash piles. I'll make your life so mid. Hello, Godfrey. Good evening, Miss Irene. Oh, I like your new monkey suit. Thank you for picking it up. You know, it fits very well for a hand-me-down. Yes, I'm more or less standard, miss. How do you like my new pajamas? I think they're very nice. Thank you. I heard what you said to Godfrey. So what? So what? You leave him alone. So who's going to make me leave him alone? If you don't, you'll get a good sock for me. Oh, the physical type. What I say goes. Since when did you start falling in love with butlers? I'm not in love with him. He's, he's my protege. Oh, your protege. That's why you're picking out his suits for him. Suppose father hears about this. How long do you think Godfrey will last? Father isn't going to hear about it. You seem terribly sure of everything. If father hears about Godfrey, he's also going to hear about you and that sappy college boy. I don't know what you're talking about. But if father does hear about it, I'm likely to do a little stocking myself. So little Red Riding Hood didn't have enough feminine charm to trap a wolf her own age, so she falls in love with the butler and lives happily ever after on an ash pile, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean, if you know what I mean. May I come in? You're in, aren't you? Very interesting book. The Greeks of the Middle Ages. Oh, Irene would like that. You love the Middle Ages, oh, don't you, dear? Maybe that wasn't a horse I saw in the library this morning. Well, I'm positive I didn't ride a horse into the library because I didn't have my riding costume on. It was Irene who rode the horse up the front steps. What horse? Don't play innocent. I begged you not to do it. I didn't ride a horse, but if I did ride a horse, who broke those windows on Fifth Avenue? What windows? You know what windows, and how about that college sap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't care who broke the horse or rode the windows up the steps of yah, yah, yah. But this family's got to settle down. Oh. Will you stop bellowing? Look what you're doing to Carlo. Hang Carlo. Oh. You've exhausted my patience. Did you're you make these, Godfrey? I helped. Oh, they must be wonderful. I'd like to help sometime if you'll let me. I feel honored. You might as well face the situation. I have lost a lot of money lately. You have? Yes, I have. Well, maybe you left it in your other suit. Well, if things keep on like they're going now, it won't be long when I won't have another suit. Which ones are poisoned? Thank you. While we're on the subject, how about this business of certain people picking up anybody they find on the city dump and dragging them into the house? For all we know, we might all be stabbed in the back some night and robbed. Who's going to stab who? Well, we don't know a thing about certain people. Someone should speak to Irene about her habit of picking up strays. What's a stray? You shut up. Me? No, Cornelia. I will not shut up. My life is precious to me. It won't be in a minute. Now, now, children. Come, Carlo. Come and get some nice hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> you upset Carlo, and now you're upsetting Irene. Don't you remember her breakdown last summer? I certainly do. That's why I'm not paying any attention to this. Well, if mother can sponsor Carlo, why can't I sponsor Godfrey? I think we should get our help from employment agencies. Well, I don't know, but what I agree with Cornelia. Whatever are you all talking about? 
Humphrey knows I'm not being personal, but uh, after all, none of us would like to wake up some morning stabbed to death. You must come between Irene and Godfrey. He's the first thing she's shown any affection for since her Pomeranian died last summer. Oh, 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 oh. Now, now, Irene, you mustn't have a spell. Here, Carlo, quick, quick, give me a, a sofa cushion here. Come, darling, lift up your head now, like a good girl. Lift up your head and let there now, darling, don't cry. Now, now, darling. She's not having a spell. That's old stuff. <laughs> darling. So what is all this nonsense? Will you be quiet? You never did understand women. Why don't you get a doctor? I don't want a doctor. You want an ice bag? No, I don't want an ice bag. I want to die. No, 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 you mustn't do that. She makes me ill. Let's get out of here. <laughs>